We have a jam packed show. We hope you all enjoy it. This is the uh, song news this week with CB. Our first story this week is that uh, Terps is back at song this week, which is really good news. And we're, have, we're missing him, we've been missing him, and he's going to be here for the uh, sports. So uh, ch check it out when we, when we do our sports. And our second uh, topic is we're having two new rooms instead of a uh, downstairs store downstairs and one of them is going to be our new studio three which is uh, which is looking good so we can do some rec some voice recording and, produ and producing work this is cb with the uh, news this week uh, this is the interview this week with cb and our special guest tony Hi, how are you, CB? You all right? Yeah. Good, good, good. Our first question, if you could get away with any crime, what would it be? Well, that's a, a really, really hard question, CB. Um, I don't think I'd break the law, so I wouldn't want to do that. So I, I wouldn't want to break any crime, yeah. So because I'm just me. So yeah. I, I couldn't answer that, really, because, you know, yeah. I want to keep within the law. Yeah. That's the correct answer. Thank you. And the uh, second question is, do you prefer Pepsi or Coke? Ooh. See, two rivals there, yeah. CB. I think I've got to go for Coke. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I, I like Coke. I don't like... I can't stand the room. I think Pepsi's got a, like, a different taste, Pepsi, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't like... Pe Pepsi tastes weird. Have you noticed, like, when you get stuff from takeaway shops? Yeah. You don't get Coca-Cola, you get Pepsi, don't you? Yeah. I mean, when I go to, like, football games, or well, not... When I go to places and I have to have like Pepsi, like, but like for KFC or something, it doesn't taste. It's like drink. It's like tasting water or something. It is, isn't it? It's got a right weird taste yeah. on it. Yeah, so I think Coke definitely. I, mean, I don't like be. Pepsi. I don't like Pepsi Max. And I don't no, like, I don't. I don't like Diet Coke. No, I, I don't. Can't stand all that. No, is it I Coke don't. Zero. I know I don't like Coke Zero. No. I like full fat Coke. Yeah. Thank you very much. And our third question is: If you were a character from Star Wars, which one would it be? Oh, I've got to be Chewbacca all day long. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. You know, it's great in it, Chewbacca, yeah. you know. You know, and I, I do like the Star Wars films. I think I went to the pictures when the first run come out, uh, and it was Star Wars, um, and then was it Empire Strikes Back, and yeah. Return of the Jedi? I think so. I thought you might have gone for that green guy, I can't remember, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the one with the walking stick. Oh, right, uh, Yoda, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Well, he's quite intelligent, but Chewbacca was just a big, friendly, yeah. cuddly giant. I think he'll go for I can't I, I, I don't really I used to like Star Wars when the the, the younger films on oh, the, the newer films like the the, the, the two thousand films yeah there. but it's like they're going back out there and it's like I don't get it sometimes I like the was he, I can't remember his name in the film but I like is it I like the guy who plays Han Solo oh not, yeah yeah uh, not Han Solo what's he called the Scottish guy yeah. oh uh, he, the one off Harrison Ford no no uh, what's he called uh, I think he's off Tra transporter. The, uh, the, well, I can't remember. I can't remember his name as well, but yeah, I think Chewbacca's yeah. like good because he's like, you know, he's, he's lovely, isn't he? Yeah. 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 I, prefer Star, I prefer Star Trek to Star Wars. Yeah, well, I'm not really a Star Trek fan as well, like, but I like Star Wars, but I don't watch right lot of films, but I have watched the Star Wars. Yeah. But like you say, when they went to, after Return of the Jedi and they did like three more and it like going back, I, I don't know why they didn't just do that first and then yeah, go into them. I think it's McGregor or something. Uh, yeah, Sean uh, McGregor. No, no, I think it begins with me, I can't remember. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, but I, I don't, I like the, I only like the old Star Wars, I haven't seen any new Star Wars. No, I, I think I saw one of them, but no, I want my cup of tea, come no. no. So our uh, fourth question is, if you could hold a dinner party, you must invite three famous people, why and... Uh, why would you choose them? Oh, that's a really, really good question, CB. Well, definitely Michelle Pfeiffer, Chin Bassinger, and Clint Eastwood. Yeah. And the reason behind that, I really like the actresses playing some really good films, and I love Western films. Yeah. And Clint Eastwood's one of my favourite actors, and now he's a director in it, but yeah. he's, he's made some quality uh, Western films, and I'm into the cowboy yeah. Indian films, and I think he's great, and I think... The female actresses in Kim Bassinger, um, what did I say the other one was? Uh, 
Cameron. It's Keen Bassinger, yeah, and Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer. Yeah, I, I think they're really good actresses, and so I think I'd invite them to my yeah. dinner party. I like Clint Eastwood. He's about ninety now. He is, and he's still directing and producing films. Yeah. And he's, but he's made some quality, quality films, and yeah. I might seem a bit geeky, but I like I like the black and white cowboy yeah. western films. Three, you know? I, I know three of mine quite easy. One is a uh, is a uh, Jurgen Klopp. All oh, right, uh, Chris Liverpool, yeah. Uh, Hugh Grant, because I, I like Hugh Grant. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? And uh, Roger Moore, because he's one of my idols. Oh, it's quite like Roger Moore. Yeah. Well, well, did you watch all the James Bond films with Roger Moore? Yeah. 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 I've, I've got to say, yeah, Roger Moore's getting on a bit now, isn't it? Yeah, because, well, he's dead now, actually. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Two of my idols. I like Jürgen, of course, the three of my idols. But I'd, I'd love to do an interview with Jürgen Klopp. But I really like uh, Hugh Grant and Roger Moore, that two idols. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. I'd love to hear you. Yeah. And the uh, fifth question is, how would you uh, really... Just the Bradford City season so far, the I, dismal season. I just knew you'd put something extra in the end there, CB. Yeah. Well, you know I'm an avid Bradford City fan and I've been a season ticket holder for a long, long time. I actually watched the game last night and I'm following it. I've got to say, it doesn't look good for the season. You know, I think if we played 4 4 2 with two wingers and a striker yeah. up front, we might have a chance, but we seem to play 4 5 1 with one attacker up front, yeah. but our attacker's like nearly 36. You know, it can score goals, but it can't run. Is that, is that Cook or something? Yeah, Andy Cook, and it's like, I watched it last night, and it was like, Leighton Oren hadn't scored a goal in eight games. Come to Bradford City, what did they do? Score. Score a goal. Yeah. Luckily enough, we got an equaliser, and we could have just finished it at the end, but that was the last five minutes of the game. I think our manager needs to get him back on the training field and look up 4-4-2. Well, yeah. My next door mate, she goes to all the games, and she goes like to all home games, and... Yeah, I, I go as much as I can to home games. I've not been to an away game yet. Well, uh, she, she used to go to away games, but the company uh, go, uh, sponsored him, so she gets to go to all the... Mm. as a free main course before she goes... Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of posh but food. My husband do not go, because he can't... He still like Bradford City. Well, there's it? not a lot of people like Bradford City, but I mean, we've got a good following 15,000 season ticket holders yeah. in League 2. Can't really grumble about that, but... If I was, I might be asking for my money back. Well, he's that. that as well, Connor, but I think, you know... I'm praying and hoping that we can turn it around in this part of the season, but that's me praying and hoping. I reckon we'll get promotion next season. Yeah, maybe so, Connor, but yeah, that's what I think really about yeah. Bradford City. Uh, this is Steve Rudy and two thanks to our special guest, Tony. Thank you for having me, Connor. Uh, this is Connor this week with uh, Grand Ideas. Our uh, first uh, topic this week is uh, my mum's dog has not been very well. He's got that gentinitis, but he's not been very himself. He's just been off it. He's been lethargic. And uh, sadly on Monday, just this, this gone, uh, my old Ted, my dog, is he got the same uh, illness. You know, they both got it and uh, they both catch flies and they both got it at the same time, but... Ted's, Ted's get, they're both getting better. I mean, Tuesday they're getting better and, you know, they'll be hopefully in a speedy recovery. That, you know, that really grabs my gears because one dog gets poorly and my other dog gets poorly. What are the chances of both getting poorly at the same time? And uh, the second topic is, is there's no football this week and it's quite it's quite sad because it, it's very boring because there's, there's championship games and I like championship I like following it and watching it, but I rather have the Premier League because I want to watch. I want to watch Liverpool play, but we got the FA Cup this week. But it doesn't really, it doesn't really make it better because I rather have the Premier League over the FA Cup any time because it's just a uh, there's more intensity and it's just more exciting. It's really guys my gears. Hello and welcome to Turk Smoke with me, Turk and CB. Um, today in the show we are going to talk about um, the new Trumper signing and um, how many games have not been done this week because of some international games have been done this week as well. So, um, how do you want to do the first yeah. bit? Uh, you know, there's no Premier League games this week, so we can't wait for the games to come back. I mean, it's been the uh, it's the they just had championship, but I like championship, but I don't. Yeah. I, I sometimes watch it, but I can't wait to get the Premier League back. But the FA Cup's boring, and having it this week, and then we've got to wait for Premier League to come on, on 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 next 
on a week, and what's this about Leeds playing Aston Villa? That's a big game, 11 on a Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Yeah. And the Premier League's have already done so massively. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, like, it's a weird kick-off on a Wednesday in bed, so... Yeah. I think they're trying to do it on a weekend. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, how do you want to be doing this as not news? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, Frank Lampard is the new Everton manager, and yeah. uh, they've brought in De- Deli Alley and Van der Beek. I mean, they're really good players. I mean, Frank... Do I want Frank to do well? No, because he manages Everton and we really couldn't care less what Everton do because they, you know, don't do anything. And I mean, they spent lately half a million pounds and, you know, they, they really aren't growing anywhere. They need to, that half a million pounds, they should be doing better. But yeah. I mean, I think Frank's the right guy in terms of needing a manager. Yeah. But whether Frank's got the uh, balls to manage Everton is another thing. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I think the new signing for Everton will probably help Everton a little bit. But yeah, for on long run, a new manager, they need a new manager after two weeks. So, yeah. And then, um, what do you think on the next Liverpool game prediction? Oh, well, I think Liverpool are going to play Burnley, and I think they're going to beat Burnley quite comfortable 3 now, I think. Salah mm-hmm. and. Uh, Manny and and Firmino, you know, the front team will beat Burnley, you know, Burnley I don't I I don't like. It's nothing personal, I just don't like the way they play. I think it's physical yeah. and it's not my kind of football I wanna watch and the you know, the like we game, I've said this before. I hope they go down because they're not doing anything, you know. Yeah. I don't like teams that come in the Premier League to make the league up, you know, you've got to have a bit of ambitious <laughs> Yeah. And I think it's quite funny with Burnley. Mm-hmm. If you look at it from a financial point of view, Burnley how owners have structured the deal when they were bought is that basically it's in debt. So when the if club goes down, Burnley have been a yeah. dire situation. Yeah, and the next league and Everton game, I reckon it will be two two, and I reckon here El Hart will start and Rafinha and will start, and for Everton, I reckon Van der Beek and Richarlison to start. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you all for watching. This has been Tech Smart with me, Tech and CB. And see you next week. We get a riddle off this uh, week, Andrew. All right, let's go and get in then. Come on. Hi, Andrew. We got a riddle for this week, please. I have actually. I've got a very good one. Okay, so Johnny's mother has got three children. The first child is named April. The second child is named May. What is the name of the third child? Can you tell us Andrew what you're about? Yep, so the third child is actually called Johnny.
Ooh.